Okay, so a mid-descent with a casualty, and we've come up against the deviation. So I've got to think about getting past it with the casualty. Um, you've got three options, really. The first one is have a think about why the deviation's there. If it's just pulling us in so we could paint the pylon or something like that, I'd just unclip it, get rid of it, don't need it. Um, but maybe it's bringing us in so we can get back onto a balcony or, or something that's going to be useful. So I want to keep it in above us to hold us in. Um, so first choice is just try and pass it as you would normally. So drop down until your descender is below the anchor point and then swing in and use that spare beaner to try and clip in here. Now, I could probably do that on this, it's not too difficult, but um, what's more useful is having a technique that will get you through any size of deviation. So I'm gonna talk you through that. First thing I wanna do is get down so my top of my descenders about level with the, the place where the deviation is anchored here. So I'll go down another couple of feet. Something like that. And what I'm actually going to do is swap onto my backup rope beneath the deviation. So if I pinch my casualties descender down here somewhere. So I've got my casualties descender. I'm going to clip that in identical to my existing descender. So I'm catching my D ring and the chain of carabiners to the casualty. Screw the gate up. Then, as I said, I'm going to transfer to the backup rope underneath the deviation. Now, make sure at this point your ropes aren't twisted either above or below the deviation. Connect that in, and then I'm just going to pull us across. until I get as tight as I can. Use a swing a little bit, something like that. So I minimize the distance I've got to transfer. I'm limited a bit by the length of that lanyard, so I'll put a second backup on, on the other rope below the deviation. So on one rope, I've got an ID above the deviation and ASAP below, the one I'm transferring to. ID on below the deviation, back up on above. That's gonna come off fairly soon. So I start to transfer my weight across. Now, when most of my weight is across, I can take off this top back up because I don't want that coming tight that'll be awkward okay next thing I can do because I've got most of the weight off that descender is get rid of this friction carabiner and there's a bit of a loop of slack there so you want to get rid of that immediately through your back up so I'm going to release the top descender there's going to be a bit of a loop of slack above the ASAP. It shouldn't be any more than if the ASAP was low. I've got a little bit of clearance here, not a huge amount, but I can probably get away with it. If you judge the distance badly, and this loop's going to be too big, so any more than a couple of feet, it's pretty simple. Get your other back up, put it on. Above the descender you're going to take off. Then I can release that. Take the rope out. See that bottom back up drop down. Get it up nice and high. Then I can take that top back up off. So essentially you're just getting a, a back up either side of that descender that we were taking off. But that's it, we're past the deviation now. All I've got to do is stick a friction carabiner onto my new working line and we can carry on with the descent. 
keep him away from the steelwork as much as I can. <laughs> 